Hey folks, this is Joe from JoeColantonio.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to schedule a reoccurring test set in Quality Center. So this has been really an annoying issue for me uh, in Quality Center because in Quality Center you can schedule a test set to run at a given time, but the issue is when you need to have a test set that runs at a reoccurring time. So in order to do this, what you need to do is you need to create a VB script and use Quality Center's OTA API and use the Windows Scheduler option. For this example, say I want to schedule a reoccurring test of my debug test set. So first thing, if you're in Quality Center, if you go to Help and go to Select Documentation Library, there's a great reference for the API called HP Quality Center Open Test Architecture API. And this has everything you need to know to really dive into all the different options you have when using this API. In order to use the API, basically when you go on a machine and you go to Quality Center, the first time it downloads an ActiveX control. So when it does that, it's going to download an OTA client.dll that's automatically downloaded. And that's how you're gonna be able to use the API to communicate with the Quality Center from the VB script. So in your VB script, first thing you wanna do is you just want to create a instance of your TD API. And then you want to connect to your URL that you're using for your quality center. And you're just going to pass it your quality center username and your quality center password. Uh, then you're going to point to your domain and your project. So once you have that set up, the next step is uh, you're going to create an instance of the test set factory in the test set tree manager. And you're going to point the uh, node by path to the path of your test set. So in my example, I'm just going to point it to root and then the folder debug. So in here I would have root slash debug. And then the next step you just want to point to your the name of your test set that you want to run. So I'm going to select debug and so for find test sets I would type in debug. If I wanted to run the sked test set I would just type in sked. And basically once you have that set up uh, it's going to loop through it's going to create a loop and it's going to loop through all the tests in your test set and then it's going to run them. So once you have your VB script created, the next step is you want to use the Windows Scheduler to schedule a time to run your test set. So if you go into your control panel and select Schedule Task, under Schedule Task, you can add a scheduled task. And the Schedule Task Wizard will appear. Once you click on Next on the first screen, you have an option to point to the program that you want to run. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Browse button and we're going to navigate to the VB script that we created earlier. So I'm just going to point to my QCSCEDDEMO.VBS that I created. And then the Task Manager, I'm going to select the Weekly option. And so if you do select Weekly, the next screen that comes up is gives you an option to select what time you want the test to run, the task to run. So I'm going to run mine at 5 a.m. and I'm going to run it Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And then the last step is you just need to pass it a valid username and password. The very last step is you should get a message saying the task was successfully created. Just a few tips that I found that makes this uh, more reliable is on my lab machines, I have all the screensavers turned off. The problem was, is if a screensaver is turned on and the VB script is kicked off, it's, it's not going to run because your machine is going to be locked. Uh, also, another issue I've seen is on my machines, we get periodic uh, Microsoft updates pushed to us. And so the machine sometimes reboots. And so if the machine reboots, it's sometimes stuck at a login screen. And so the VB script won't kick off. So what I've done is I've uh, found an article in Microsoft Supports Knowledge Base 31523, which shows you how to uh, schedule an automatic login in Windows XP. And this article also works for Windows 7. Basically, what you have to do is just set up a registry setting to allow automatic login. So the article describes uh, what registry settings to use. It's basically a default password and default username and an automatic login setting, which you have to set to one. One last thing you should be aware of is if you don't want to create your own VB script or you want something more elaborate, there is an option called the Test Set Scheduler Solution. Uh, so if you go to HP's uh, knowledge base and just type in test set scheduler, this utility allows you to uh, run, run a test set by passing some parameters to, to the EXE. 
And this is, um, rather than create your own VB script, this allows you to pass a specific information in. It also will send a report at the end of all your test runs. So if you don't want to create your own VB scripts, there is, this is another option. I'm also going to post this uh, utility in my downloads folder. It will be in a zip file called Run Test Set Scheduler. And so that's how you schedule a reoccurring test set using VB script and Quality Center's OTA API. Hope it helps.